This is the culmination of a, of a career for me, coming to Electromechanica after many, many years of being in the automotive industry and working my way through very, very complex engineering projects and vehicle programs. In my previous role, I worked for a UK company actually called Ricardo. And I first came on to Electromechanica by meeting the founder, Jerry Kroll. And at that time, which was three years ago, Ricardo was doing some engineering for Electromechanica and for Jerry. We were doing some engineering on wireless charging capability, and that's where I first got introduced to the Solo. And I thought to myself, wow, Electromechanica has something really, really unique here. And the Solo is such a unique vehicle. Nothing else like it on the road today. Incomparable. So a three-wheeled vehicle, a configuration of two wheels in the front, one wheel in the back, single occupant, meant to revolutionize the commuter space. The idea for Solo was to address the market for the commuter. It's a fact that 76% of at least North Americans like to go to and from work and they like to do it in a car leaving three to four empty seats and using uh, only a portion of the powertrain, right? It's underutilizing the powertrain. And it's just, it's crazy when you think about all those vehicles on the road and all that wasted space, wasted energy being, being put out there right now. And so this whole idea of an electric vehicle that's for a single occupant, the most efficient tool to move a person from point A to point B. And the Solo has a 100 to 110 mile range. It has a top speed of 88 miles per hour. And it has all of the same comforts of a car. You know, what Elon has done with Tesla is amazing. And, and it's just incredible that he has, you know, set the bar, right? But if you think about the other companies that have come along in the space, they're all trying to put a vehicle on the road that's in that premium car segment. They're putting a premium passenger car on the road. They're mostly trying to compete with Tesla. That is the fact, right? A lot of these Chinese startups are trying to do that, right? And then you mentioned micromobility. You have down at the other end of the shelf, micromobility, but that's all electric scooters and electric bikes. And that's, that is single occupant, but you're standing outside, you're in the elements, right? And you're just, it's really last mile served. It's just to get you, from, like I said, from your office to your workspace, right? Up until now, there's not been somebody who has attacked the market in that space in between. And for us, we're creating a brand new space here. That space is called, we're calling it solo mobility.